Hey, I'm talking to you from my back deck in Toowoomba, and what you can see behind me is the Great Dividing Range. That's that little red sliver that's a fire danger because that's not been burnt for 13 years. You can see the sun setting on the trees now. It's just incredibly dry at the moment, just really, really dry. So I would just like to encourage you to pray for Australia, pray for rain. We had some last night, but we need a lot more all over the country. We've had a very, very dry time. Pray also for um, the, the unity of the body of Christ to stand up and take its place, but also unity across the nation. This fire is being used to divide and it shouldn't be. We need to sit down with all of the people, with Aboriginal people, with people who understand economics, with people who understand climate, with people who understand drought, with people who understand how to manage and fire and burn and, and, and have a really sensible discussion to avoid this happening. It's the worst it's been, but we have bushfires every single year. So if you want to pray for Australia, those are the two, the two major things. The other thing is that in working with Aboriginal people, I think that they're invisible in Australia. Mostly we don't hear them, we don't see them, we don't understand their wisdom, we don't understand the way they manage the land. And as you can see, out there that's dead and it's dry and it hasn't been burnt for years. So there's a lot of material. They used to burn bits by bits every year, little patches so that the wildlife had somewhere to go so that there wasn't a huge build-up and so the fires never got as hot and as dangerous as they are now so we need to find a place to honor our aboriginal elders to listen to them and to respect them and to let them their grace and their wisdom um, influence this nation uh, as it hasn't done for over 200 years so those would be the three things that i would encourage you to pray i really appreciate everybody who's called to check how we're doing this is an update for everybody Keep praying and then come and visit us in Australia. Have a look at the video down below. Australia is still beautiful. It's still ready to receive people and the fires are really not a danger to tourists. Bless you heaps. Thanks for praying.